98, Blade, 2000, X-Men, 2002, Blade 2, Spider-Man, 2003, Daredevil, X2, X-Men United, depending on how you want to word that title, or just X-Men T, Hulk, 2004, The Punisher, which I thought was in 2007, but Spider-Man 2, Blade Trinity, which I thought was in 2005, <laughs> 2005, Elektra, Fantastic Four, 2006, X-Men, The Last Stand, or X3, or X-Men 3, depending on how you want to word it. 2007, Ghost Rider, Spider-Man 3, Fantastic Four, Rise of the Silver Surfer. Two thousand eight. All right, welcome back to my movie review series, episode forty one. Now, I just read off a list of movies that ran from a nice little ten year time frame, all the way from ninety eight, all the way down. Well, to 2008, which, in my, uh, best of my memory, quite a few films came out in 2008. One is one of the greatest films ever, The Dark Knight, and another, an another film which happens to be one of the best origin stories ever told in a film. Iron Man. This is what I'm reviewing today. Yes, sir. Iron Man 2008. Robert Downey Jr. Terrence Howard. Jeff Bridges. Gwyneth Paltrow. Iron Man. This movie right here changed everything. I mean, you had from, two, from 98 all the way down to 2007. 2008 came around. It was this movie right here. It changed everything. Everything. All you had to do Without knowing about it first, following word of mouth, all you had to do was sit through the closing credits. That's all you had to do. And what happened? I am I am Iron Man. With Stark, you in the part of a universe. A much bigger universe. And you don't even know it. Nick Fury, director of Shield. I'm here to talk to you about the Avenger Initiative. After that, you can go home because <laughs> you just had your mind. <laughs> That's all there is, baby. That's all there is. Whew, man. Mm, 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 mm. Damn. Who'd have thought? Who'd have thought? I mean, all these characters, I mean, Blade, Daredevil, Punisher, Elektra. You know, Ghost Rider, the Silver Surfer. I mean, he, all these characters, not one of them is A-list. And neither was Iron Man. 
But once this movie came around in 2008, once this movie came around, everybody knew who the hell Iron Man was. I mean, you had a select few, you know. Anybody that did not pick up a comic, you know, those casual fans out there, you know. They are the ones that don't know much about Iron Man. They don't even know who he is at all. Only Iron Man you would probably have heard of was, uh, well, if you're a sports, if you're a sports cat, it would be the um, the triathlon, or if you're a wrestling fan, you know, only Iron Man you would know is the Iron Man match. The legendary Iron Man match between Shawn Michaels and Bret the Hitman Hart. You know? If you're a music person, then you would know Iron Man. Black Sabbath. <laughs> Which, coincidentally, is what they used throughout the entire promotion of this movie. The marketing machine was strong with this one, Jack. Strong with this one, the marketing machine. Mm. I remember back in the 2007, 2007 Comic Con. <clears throat> Comic Con 2007, baby. When they released the uh, the footage, the raw footage, you know, it wasn't exactly the, the trailer, but it was some real good, it was just like a, it's like a, um, a kind of like a, kind of like a demo reel, but anyway, you know, they released some, uh, some, uh, some, uh, some finished footage for you, but it was still raw though, but yeah, they gave you, they give you a nice little sneak, basically, yeah, they give you a nice little sneak peek of Iron Man that was working on it. You know, Favreau, John Favreau, the director of this movie, you know, yeah, the director of this movie, you uh... know. Okay, <laughs> I was thinking, man, did he happen to um, do any co writing on this? But no, he didn't. Yeah, he directed this movie. But yeah, I tell you though. Yeah, when they released that footage, man, of course, you know, if you weren't there, you weren't going to see it, but I saw it. I wasn't there, but I just happened to see it, you know, you know some cats leaked it out, you know, and, uh, you know, they showed, you know, they showed uh, some parts here and there, but, you know. What they really, you know, what, what 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 was really really building up to, you know, you know the door, you know, when Tony was in the cave, you know, he was captive, he was in the cave, and you saw that door, you know, boom, boom. Next thing you know, and throughout the and wait, wait throughout this whole time, you know, and you see that door, you know, boom, boom. and you hearing. That familiar, that familiar beat, that, that familiar beat. Next thing you know, <laughs> Iron Man burst the door. That heavy duty gray armor, he burst the door, knocking cats around, and you hear the theme song. Not the theme song, but the uh, the, the classic, the classic, um, the classic metal song from Black Sabbath. You know, you hear that, you know, <clears throat> I mean, you hear that, and you got Iron Man knocking cats around. I'm watching this footage, you know, this, you know, this footage, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm watching the, 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 the leak video on some website, you know, and, you know, I'm hearing the crowd reaction. As they as they are watching it, you know they're reacting to it. You know I'm sitting there, I'm reacting to it, and man, oh man, it felt like I was there. So yeah, you know, yeah, you know, Iron Man knocking cats around. He wearing the heavy duty gray armor, you know, the first armor he ever ever had, you know. 
you know, you know, hearing what people were saying before, you know, now I'm seeing it, you know, part of what uh, I mean, his arm gets stuck in the wall, you know, he's trying to get it out. So Cat put, he's going Cat walk up to him, trying to shoot him in the back of the head, but the bullet bounces off and he hits him. <laughs> yeah, you know, yeah, he turns it around. <laughs> yeah, Iron Man, you know, he, he turns around, man, I tell you, though. That was just crazy. Now, everybody got the everybody got a huge laugh on that one. And then we saw, then we saw it. You know, the armor. You know, the uh, you know the familiar armor. You know, this right here. You know, we saw this right here. You know, nice little silhouette of it. You know, the eyes lighted up. The arc reactor is lit up. And we saw that. You know, he's standing up. And we seeing that. Everybody is screaming. Everybody just going crazy, man. It's like he's at a damn rock concert. Everybody is just going crazy. You know? And then, you know, they cut to the, 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 the shot in the air, you know? Iron Man's flying, kicks in those boosters, and he's really going. And then after that, you know. <clears throat> I am Iron Man. You know, you know, you get the, uh, you know, the, the, the name come up. You know, you know, all the metallics. You know, and you know, you know, not the branding. You know, just, the name lights up. You know, it was just so awesome. It's just so awesome to see all that. I tell you, boy, yeah, you know, that's that's magic of Comic Con right there. That's Comic Con, baby. That's what it is, man. That's what it is. Comic Con, you know, they just give you all the goods for the first time ever. You're gonna sit there and you're gonna watch it. What you heard about in magazines and stuff, you're gonna hear, you're gonna see it right here, right there. First time, man, I tell you. Whew. Just gets me going, man. But yeah, that was it, boy. You know, Iron Man. That was that was the shit right there, man. You know, you saw, you saw it. You finally saw it. You know, you heard about an Iron Man movie being made, but once you see the, uh, once you see all the uh, the visuals, you know, the product almost finished. You see the, all the visuals, though. You see what it what is finished, and what they got for you. Everybody, everybody, man, oh man, oh. Even mine. I'm just sitting here. I'm sitting here watching. I mean, oh my god, <laughs> oh my god, Woo, man, oh man, mm. everybody. That's what it is, though, Jack. That's what it is, man. You know, you watch it. <sighs> yeah, I'll tell you, though. What's the review on this movie? Spectacular. That's all you need. That's all you need, man. Spectacular. This movie is spectacular. You know, Iron Man 2009, 2008. Yeah, you 2009, too, because you ain't going to watch it again on video. But yeah, 2008, man. Mm. Oh. I'm just back. I'm just back at that. I'm just back in that time right now. I'm just back in that time right now. You know, reliving that past, that nothing, that that nostalgic feeling. You know, and I still get that. You know, anytime that there's like a raw footage out of Comic Con, you know, I, I gotta see it. So, you know, I still get that, man. I tell you. Oh, my God. This was the shit, though. This this movie right here, this was the shit. I mean, and what a right time to make this movie, too. I mean, 1998, you couldn't have made this movie. Not in this form. Okay? Not in this form. And damn sure couldn't have made it in 1988, okay? I mean, psh, forget about it. But yeah, you know, 2008, what a perfect time to put this out. What a perfect time. 
I mean, the heavy duty armor, the, the, you know, the original gray armor. And then we got the red and gold armor. The classic, the now classic, the now iconic red and gold armor, you know. And how and how it functions and everything like that, like that how it moves, and then you, you see it in flight. I mean, what a perfect time to put this out. Because you couldn't put it out any other time back in back in the, those past timelines. You couldn't do it. Yeah, what a perfect time. You know, 2008, what a perfect time. Man, yeah, to put that up. Hmm. But I tell you though, man. Yeah. Yes. Yes. This is it. This. This is it. This is. This is the shit. I mean, spectacular. Yes. Okay. I mean, there's nothing more I gotta say. There's nothing. There's nothing I got. Nothing more I gotta say about it. The movie is spectacular. I mean. Just one of those, just one of those special movies, you know, and yeah, the storyline of it, you know, I mean, you get Robert Downey Jr. to play this character, what a perfect choice to play, to get somebody to play this character, I mean, this character of Tony Stark, I mean, this guy, you read him in the comics, he's not a very cool guy, you know, but. You know, he's not a very cool guy. You know, he is a true asshole. But if you get an actor as cool as Robert Downey Jr., then any line that was read on that page could sound like the most absolute coolest line ever that a guy could say. And, you know, to any other person, he could be a real, real douchebag. But with Robert, I, Robert Downey Jr. doing it, you got the coolest motherfucker ever putting this shit out there. Man, I tell you, though, yes. And to think, they was going to get Tom Cruise to play Iron Man. <laughs> that was the rumor, you know. <laughs> Yeah, I tell you though. Again, what a perfect time to get this out. Well written, you know. Who wrote this movie? You know, Mark Fergus and Hawk Ostry. I mean, Mark Fergus and Hawk uh, Hawk Ostry and. Art Markham and Matt Holloway. I tell you, man, yeah, the lettering is just so goddamn skinny, man. Barely make out the names. But yeah, I tell you, you know, those cats, yeah, did a great job, you know. They knew. They knew what was up. They knew what was up. So yeah, I tell you, though, know, yeah. Yeah, the movie, yeah. He had everything though, you know. He gave you the action. They gave you the uh, the suspense. He gave you the. <laughs> it gave you the its uh, spectacularness. <laughs> yeah, I tell you, gave you everything, and then some. You know, just can't praise this movie. Any more than I am right now. I mean, yeah. Yeah, this movie did change everything. That's all you had to do, though. Just sit through the entire closing credits. And, you know, considering the fact that, you know, this, you know, the closing credits started out with Black Sabbath. And then they hit you with the, uh, the score, which is one of the best theme songs, mind you. One of the best theme songs in any Marvel movie. Okay, you know, you, you got the Avengers. Wait. Not, not Marvel. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, any Marvel movie. Opposed to the MCU, Marvel Cinematic Universe, you know. Any, any Marvel movie. And then you got the Avengers theme song, which is pretty much 
definitive to the MCU. But yeah, Iron Man, the first Iron Man score is the best score that they have put out there. You know, Iron Man 2 is nice. Iron Man 3, you know, they put in Brian Tyler. And, you know, Brian Tyler, he did the Expendables here, you know. And he did Transformers Prime. No, it's, it's a TV series, in case you didn't know. But yeah, but yeah, you know, but yeah, you know, he, but yeah, he did Iron Man 3 also, but it's just one of the Iron Man. This right here, you know, you know, it gave you that real tough guy feel, you know, it. Felt like Iron Man. It sounded like Iron Man. So yeah, you know, the score in, uh, in this movie right here is the best score out of all the Iron Man films. So yeah, man, I got to tell you though, yeah, this is this is this is one of the best ones, man. This is one of the best ones. You know, throughout the ten years of us, well, soon be ten years. Throughout nine years of us watching these film, watching these particular films, you know, not these right here. You know, you know these, these are the starters. You know, you know, yeah, not these right here. Not those, but these particular films, the MCU films. You know, this is still one of the best films. One of the best ones out there. But yeah, man, Iron Man, you know, <laughs> a perfect five out of five, you know. Five out of five, you know, Iron Man. So yeah, you know, like I say in any any other review, check this shit out, man. Check this shit out if you haven't before. Check this shit out if you have, um, if you haven't in a while. Check this shit out again. So yeah, that's my review, and I'm sticking to it, Jack. Yeah, mm-hmm. So yeah, that's it. Next week I'm back in the super I'm staying in the superhero tangent next week. And we're gonna be talking about another awesome origin story. And not just an origin story, but it's a story that we have seen over and over, but they rebuilt it, and they re uh, they replenished it, rebuilt it, replenished it, and gave it to you in a whole other form. This is not your daddy's superhero, not anymore anyway. <laughs> and we are the daddies. <laughs> so yeah, that's coming next week though. So, you know, check out my other shit right here and subscribe to me right here. But in the meantime, in between time, Jack, check out this movie again and show off.